getting directly to work, that was somewhat of a challenge. Um, our daycare was located north of town, so the train, the train would divide the town um, in half, sometimes upwards of 20 minutes. You have the industrial major employers on the, on the west side of town. East side of town is predominantly uh, um, retail on Highway 59. There were quite a lot of accidents and a lot of accidents with serious injuries. I believe there was one fatality. Personally, I was very concerned about the uh, intersection with Highway 32 and, and Greenwood. The original vision started out in the probably in the mid-60s with Doug Stewart. And, you know, he had envisioned that, uh, you know, a corridor through the south side of the city that would connect the east and west side. We've got about a uh, little over 3,000 people working at this location. Hundreds of them drive that every day both ways. There was no road here. There was no road from Pennington Avenue east to the railroad, and there was uh, just a gravel roadway. The the initial plan for the Greenwood Street alignment would have been uh, Greenwood Street's on a section line and there would have been a straight road on the section line. What we decided to do was take a look at an alignment to curve the road away from the manufactured home park. That enabled us to avoid relocating graves. It allowed us to leave 13 of the 14 homes and not displace those people. It probably saved somewhere around uh, maybe somewhere around a million and a half dollars in relocation expenses. The design uh, criteria, they were able, WSN was able to, to step up to the challenge and meet that, and it's, it fits pretty well. When the Greenwood Corridor and the railroad crossing were originally planned, an underpass wasn't, wasn't something that was really considered, it was just gonna be a grade crossing. We explored an overpass, but the distance from the railroad to Pennington Avenue was too short. The grades would have been too, too steep. As we thought about the, um, the options for this, it just really seemed to make sense with a community this size with the amount of train traffic that's here that's growing, uh, uh, constantly increasing, that an underpass would be a, a better solution for us. You know, how are we going to handle the traffic at this intersection now with uh, Probably a four-way stop situation is what, what would have most likely occurred. And we thought, you know, let, let's take a look at a roundabout and see if it'll work. It's almost, it's fun to watch it on a busy time. It's almost like a, an orchestrated play. It's just pretty amazing. And surprisingly enough, you know, rural Northwest Minnesota community, this is the first roundabout in our corner of the state. The phases of this corridor, like we talked about originally, you know, building segments at a time, with the bridge and the railroad crossing being the last two uh, components. The other one was the traffic lights at Highway 32. The city had, had requested signals there for many years. The sight lines are fairly poor on that intersection with the signals it works well, but without signalization it was, it was an unsafe intersection. With the hospital development south on Highway 32, the amount of traffic is just, uh, is just going to increase as well. Well, I, I think the corridor does mean a, a fair amount uh, to uh, the community beyond just the convenience and uh, safety aspect. The, the one common factor on all of these Greenwood Corridor projects that we've talked about has been the, the long-term relationship with Woodsess Smith and Nolting and all the, um, all the people that they have that can handle all the different aspects of this type of project has, been, has just been wonderful. We were just happy to see the project go in and it's, uh, it's really been, uh, the, the implementation has really been super. It's something that'll be here for a hundred years. The community and the city are very proud of it and it's just a real, uh, a real asset to the, t to the community. I can get Bradley to daycare on time without disrupting their schedule and I can get to work on time without, without being late. So it's been just fantastic.